How do I set up a trust line within my ZUM wallet? This is a common question I get asked. And I wanted to make a short tutorial about how to do this. I'm JTXRP, and today we're going to jump into that as well as a little bit about trust lines after the, the short tutorial. Before we get into the exact tutorial, I want to I want to share how to get into trust lines. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, you're of course a going to need a link uh, to click on to add the trust line is what you eventually want to get to. So if you have a trusted social media account that you are following of the different crypto, whether it be Treasury or Reaper or Schmeckles or what all the other different projects I cover, uh, or even if it's not one, <laughs> uh, you're going to want a link to click on. And that link is going to be what gets you uh, to where you want to go. There's a couple different ways, though. Uh, one is through XRPL services, and the other is through uh, different, again, trusted social media accounts. So I'm going to go to a trusted social media account for one. And uh, I, I know the Reaper token, obviously, as many of those who follow me uh, may know. And what I did is I just went to home and I went to search and I chose to search for the Reaper coin, uh, the Reaper. So it brings up Reaper Financial. And so you can see there that we now have the uh, the link tree up top. Uh, there's also the link tree down at the bottom that I'm going to click on right here. This one has it pinned. And I know it's trusted because I know this, again, I know this account. I've been following them for quite a while and I'm, I trust their, their links. So I'm going to tap on the link tree on the first post there. It's pinned. And that's very common for a lot of in crypto. They're either going to have their link tree up top in the description or in a pinned comment. Um, so we're looking for the Reaper token. So we're going going to go hit that button for the Reaper token link tree. And then we're going to come down to find the Reaper trust line. You can see here it's down in the middle. Put my finger on it here real quick. So that's the Reaper trust line. So we're going to tap that. And then we're going to go to uh, brings us to XRPL services. And either way, uh, no matter how you do this, you end up at this page at uh, XRPL services. So we're going to uh, you see that it's the token, you see the issuing address, the, uh, the currency code, RPR, you see the limit. Now, if any of those are off from what you understand about the token, please do not accept it. But I know and I trust this token. I've done this quite a few times. Uh, I'm just going to say got it to the cookies. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit confirm. It's not been brought back into the Zoom wallet. It's either going to read your face or you're going to have to enter your pin code to bring you back over. And then you're going to scroll down. You're going to see that uh, Reaper is there. And you're going to go to, and you, and you see that you need to swipe to be able to accept the trust line. And that's all it is. Uh, you swipe to accept. You hit continue. You get this message every time. It's nothing to worry about. Um, it's just there uh, for quality purposes. It says XRPL Lab Zum does not endorse any token or is token issuer. Uh, you should proceed if you trust the token issuer. In case of questions or problems regarding the token trust line, you will need to contact the token issuer. So it's like, it's again, Zum is pointing you to the token issuer for issues, um, but continue at your own risk. And you get this every time. So I know people are like stopping to read this every time <laughs> when I tell them how to set up trust lines. I'm like, no, it's there every time. Like, make sure you trust the token. Make sure you do your own research. That's definitely always part of this. And so you can see that that transaction has been accepted. And now we go, and every time you do this, it always points you back to the XRPL services tab, okay? So we're going to go back into Zoom, and we will now see that we can see Reaper is set up as a trust line. And now, so what, what does this do? That This does two things, okay? It shows um, having a trust line will take two XRP out of your Zoom wallet to hold that trust line. And so if you ever remove that trust line, if you tap on it and hit this remove button, A, I believe this will move all your tokens. So don't do that. If you have any tokens, your, your crypto will be gone. Um, but as long as you don't hit that remove button, you're, you're fine. But that being said, if you do hit the remove button, if you do remove your trust line, you'll get your 2XRP back. So I know a lot of people may set up a lot of trust lines and there's a lot of XRP that can be held by Zum. Uh, to do that. So make sure that you only have as many trust lines as you are planning to hold crypto. And so what do trust lines do? Trust lines are a trusted way of accepting that your wallet is going to hold 
a token, one token or another. So now we can see that Reaper is there. So now let's go back out and let's go to XRPL services. All right, so this is XRPL services. We're gonna hit go, it brings us back here. If you're ever trying to get to a, uh, to figure out a token, and if you're trying to, uh, to search one, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the bar on the upper left-hand side here. And you see the button that says XRPL tokens. You wanna tap that button and it's gonna bring you to this search. So this is another way to uh, search for trust lines. All right, so you see the search bar here in the middle. So I'm going to search for the treasury ticker and you can see here in the middle that treasury comes up and you can see the, uh, the set trust line button here uh, down towards the bottom, uh, just under, just above explore and Dex. So you can hit the set trust line button. It'll bring you to the same page as we saw before uh, and it will, show you all the different uh, token information just as we saw. We're gonna hit confirm. And then we're going to, uh, it's gonna show you all the different information and we're gonna hit slide to accept and hit continue. It's gonna read your face or you're gonna put in your pin number and then it's going to verify it and shoot us back to the XRPL page after I hit next, which I always find annoying, but it's really not that bad. You just move back over and you go to your ZUM wallet and you can see that uh, we now have treasury there. So again, there's a couple different ways to get to it. A, a trusted social media account or link tree that's usually common in, uh, in crypto right now. Or you go to uh, the XRPL services if you know the ticker, uh, for instance, RPR, TRSRY, uh, that will help you find the uh, the different crypto you're looking for in that search button are there. So those are the different ways to get into and set trust lines. And so a little bit about trust lines. Uh, to hold a trust line here, you may see from the previous video, if you scroll back, you may see that I, have a I had a balance of 72 XRP whenever I started off. Uh, for every trust line you hold, or you open, should I say, two XRP will be held by Zum. Uh, in an account for you or in your account. And if you get rid of the uh, trust line here, as I say, 68, let's get rid of treasury here as an example that I just added. If I hit remove, uh, let's just go back here. I, you see I have 68 XRP at now at the top, if you look. All right, so if I come here, if I hit remove, then uh, if I hit yes, and it asks you because uh, please do not do this, you will lose all of your different tokens if you have tokens on here. Um, but you essentially, if you remove the trust line, you're removing that you want the token in your account. So uh, I have no treasury and I'm fine with removing the token. So I'm hitting slide to accept. It's gonna read your face or ask for your pin again. And then uh, it's going to shoot me back to XRPL services, I think. Am I wrong? Oh, nope, I'm, it's not this time. All right. So it says success. The token has successfully been removed. And you can see that I now have 70 XRP. So again, it takes two XRP to open a trust line. So make sure that you have plenty of XRP in your account because if you're dealing with Ascension or other things like that, where you're opening a ton of trust lines to gain all these rewards. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video about how to uh, gain, you know, seven layers of passive income, go check that out. <laughs> but um, essentially that it takes two XRP is what I'm trying to tell you to open a trust line. Um, so trust lines exist because of different kinds of attacks to wallets. And so from my understanding, it, if you don't have a trust line open, people can't send you that token. So if you want to be gifted a certain token and you don't have the trust line, it ain't going to happen. Uh, if people want to airdrop you a token, if you don't have the trust line, it's not going to happen. And an airdrop is simply just essentially free crypto for the projects to distribute their token uh, to become more decentralized. So it can also mean free crypto for you, but again, not financial advice. Always go do your own research. Um, but essentially, uh, trust lines allow you to have the token in your wallet and be able to accept the token. Now, if you want to buy the token, I've got different tutorials for different cryptos. I may make another tutorial right after this uh, about that. Hopefully this helps you understand a little bit, more, little bit more about trust lines and how they work and how to set one up. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'm JTXRP. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.